video. It is a good afternoon Friday. Just been one of those days this morning getting up and then having problems trying to get onto the in, onto the internet. Of course there's a problem with my connection. It comes on and off whenever it likes it. It seems like I'm trying to debug it. It's whether it's the cable that leads from the splitter itself to my modem or it might be the splitter itself. I haven't decided yet. Uh, it's very iffy on that because I know how my service provider is very very finicky and it's like oh it has to be make sure you have the original equipment there otherwise we're going to charge you extra they're just going to charge you extra I told them it's like look it's all the same equipment it's the original equipment that I had there the only thing I have problems now is it took me 20 minutes to get the thing working this morning so eventually I'm going to have to give them a call in and set a time and date that they can come over and take a look at the connection itself uh, they have already did a preliminary uh, test through and they see yeah it's it it was originally initially it looked like it was sporadic with a couple other places but it's not and the way it looks like and I'm, the way I am uh, the way I see it uh, the way it comes out and showing on up on the modem itself and I know this is going to be sound really geeky for some guys or some people here in general but you know when you have your modem light up or whether it's a DSL connection or a cable connection you have a series of lights and you can see it as it goes through which one it's reaching to up to and then it resets itself mine is going out where it's trying to contact the server again saying okay look I'm here yes I did receive it and it's losing it's losing the contact from there now from that point is is it from outside on the connection itself or is it the cable itself it could be a whole bunch of things it's just a matter of finding out what the technician maybe they might have uh, a little tool something to check the actual signal itself uh, going from the box outside of our place to where it's going to my room itself for the uh, frequency itself and I have a feeling that's what it is it's the frequency that I am getting a good enough signal to receive in but not to be able to carry the signal back out so at this point we're going to have them to take a look at it once I can give them a call back in regards to it other than uh, other than that on my day today uh, you know how it is with job searches for everyone it's hard and like I mentioned a couple of days ago watching the news as you start hearing uh, places close down and the unemployment's going up and up and up especially when you start hearing people losing you know 1100 people losing their job here 1300 losing their job there uh, especially in where I'm living it's getting harder so and at this point because I'm in a specialized field which is technical support and uh, customer service related to computers and all that it's a harder a harder place to get into uh, most customer service reps uh, can deal almost with anything but dealing specifically with what I deal with some of them can't handle it and it's like some of the other stuff that I've seen I don't want to deal with it's just no I know my limitations and uh, going from there I'm going to still be looking around and trying to get some other odds and ends done at the same time uh, like my backup that I need to get and prepare as well which is going to be soon too because I have to do a video on that as well for everybody else so kind of like a do-it-yourself type of project you can do as well so anyhow day is not done yet still have a lot of things to do so let's keep on going anyhow just came back from uh, manpower the uh, human resources from Canada here taking a look directly on their website and it looks like it hasn't been updated that quickly over there so I'm gonna be heading back and taking a look from my place there at home uh, it looks like I have better luck checking with other areas than I can with uh, human resources from manpower and at this point it's just taking too long even on their side to get their stuff updated because usually they update very quickly on uh, new postings but it seems like when they do post it usually updates quickly internally on their network and I've noticed the last couple of times I've went up that when they do update it usually it's very quick and it seems like they haven't gotten any recent updates within the last couple of days as for new new jobs and all that so I'm going to take a look back at home and see what's happening from there because I think I'll, I'll have better luck in finding a, a another another posting somewhere else at that point at the same time hopefully my connection hasn't gone down again if it has it's going to be another 
20 or 30 minutes just trying to get the connection back up so I'm hoping that when I get home everything will be still perfectly fine and uh, I'll be able to do what I need to get done and also work on something else that I promised uh, my fiance that I would be doing today today as well so hopefully I can get that done at the same time and yeah the day is still not done still got a lot more vlogging to go for let's go well it looks like Friday has come and gone like the breeze it's hard to believe Friday, Fridays are usually the fastest ones to go. I don't know why. I'm still trying to find, figure that one out. Uh, as for job searches, it's, it's the last couple of days, it's just nothing is out there. It's just hard to find. I think it's due, due to the reason that there's so many, so many people getting laid off and uh, not that many people, uh, not that many job positions open. But, you know, that's part of life. That's part of what we have to do. Uh, at any rate, I was speaking, I haven't spoken with a friend of mine in, ooh, the longest time. We've been chatting on and off, you know, through Instant Messenger, through uh, through Facebook. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden they said, hey, let's go use Skype. I haven't Skyped with you in the last little bit, so. Got onto Skype. Pulled it up, got it up. And uh, they wanted to actually do a video conference between them and myself. So finally got you know they, they finally got the Skype working on their side on their cell phone and they have I guess one of those iPhones that have the dual dual uh, cameras on either side uh, me I only have one camera on my so even on my little so, uh, Sony Xperia here but at any rate so Skyped with them for about 10-15 minutes and uh, they were just finishing work early this morning uh, when I have actually uh, Skyped with them, so they were actually finishing their shift and they were just getting ready to go to bed. So I figured to talk with them for a few moments uh, via Skype, and I had my trusty little microphone, looking like one of those little geeky reporters. It's going to sound like, you know, hello, my name is Carl the Geek, geek, geek Head there, and I'm going to go geek, 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 geek. So, anyhow, that being said, uh, that just you know, we just spoke for about 20 minutes or so. It's something you know that we that, that we haven't done in the last little while because they're usually busy, busy, busy. So anyhow, after that, got off the got off the Skype with them and uh, just trying to figure out what I can create as a nice little audio file for my fiance. And uh, this may be of some useful help. I need to find out what I can do, like a story made up via audio only. Uh, I can do different voices. I can do some sound effects. I'm not like Michael Winslow uh, from Police Academy by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out what I can do as a storyline. So, if you guys out there in YouTube land uh, know of any stories that, you know, that that can be reasonably done, reasonably done uh, with an M with a simple M uh, recorder uh, like Audio City. Uh, let me know. You know, give me like a synopsis of some sort, like a small little storyboard of some sort, just to find out what you guys think. You know, what you guys think. Uh, it could be science fiction. Could be you know, like um, like what they have in anime as an example. I know a lot of people like anime storyboards and all this. Uh, something with that I can, you know, simply change the pitch of my voice and a little bit and all that, and uh, find out, see what I can do. Because I promised my little, fia my beautiful fiance over there that I would actually try to create one up. And I was speaking her er, with her earlier this morning, and she was laughing her head off and is like, "Okay, I'm going to try to do something, but I just, I'm running out of ideas just for storyboard wise, or at least try to add lip it in some sort." So. That's one thing I'm going to try to do, is try to do one tonight, uh, probably before I go to bed, or at least start up on it, and uh, go from there, ad-lib it a little bit. I used to do that with the old uh, audio cassettes. Uh, I don't know if, I know the younger generation might not remember this, but people who are over uh, 25, possibly 30 years of old might remember this. Uh, the little audio cassettes that they used to have in cars, and uh, used to listen to music that way, the old-fashioned way. And I even go farther than that. Uh, I remember the old cars 
like uh, the 1968 Camaro, they used to have eight track tapes. Uh, in the cars itself, we had 16 songs, I believe, but the track switched from one track to another. I think it had to uh, up to eight tracks, or four to eight tracks, and then it has so, so many songs in each track. But at any rate, if you guys have any other, any other ideas that I can possibly do besides the other projects that I'm working up on, uh, like the uh, like the uh, keepsake box, the uh, the uh, engraved candles, I'm thinking of doing some a couple of audio things there. So I'm going to try to see what we can do, or what I can do, I should say, more likely, because I'm the one who's actually going to be uh, going through it myself here for the story and all that, and see what we can come up with. And uh, honey, baby, I want to say I just want to say hi. I'm here, and I miss you. Love you too. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please comment down below of any ideas that you have, want me to try to do here. Put a like on it too, and subscribe as well. Subscription, subscription doesn't hurt. And I always like hearing back from my viewers. So please comment down below. Don't be frightened to comment. Some people are just scared to comment. I mean, I'm not going to bite you. I'm just like a human. I'm just like anybody else here. Whether it's good or bad, I'm always I'm always in for criticism. So, please do criticize constructively. So, till next time. Tomorrow's another day. Let's let's hope uh, we can do a lot more things tomorrow. Till then, folks. Have a great evening, great day, good morning, good night, good evening, whatever time it is in your time zones. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.